Hello Doraemons, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we have the most recent question of Python which is asked on the AI which is 27 December 2021. So I wish everyone a happy new year in advance so when this video goes out, it will be the next year probably. So let's get into the question and let's learn about it. So for 27 December question to talk about this question, it is a very easy question which can be solved in like minutes of time. Mm, let's see like how many of you can solve it and quickly we can go into it. Uh, right, I already have the pre-written code and I also have a new code so that like I've not written the new code, I've just written the structure of the code which I thought in the last video. So if you haven't watched the last video, I'll be linking the video and the cards so you, you just can check it out. And so that you can understand the structure and this is the main structure which I'll follow to write the Python question. Like the solution for the Python question and it is really easy. So once you get started to solve the question, just make sure you write the structure and everything falls into place easily. So we have our class object to store a set of values sequentially and we have our class name in which we'll be going through like doing all the operations over the input data and the main place where we have our value list and this n will represent the number of values which they are going to pass. So let's just quickly jump into the question. So they have given the employer record question, which is widely asked in the IRA. So what they have given over here is write a code. So they have given the structure of the object class, which we are going to give here, which will have the name of the employee name of the department and employee salary and the record of leaks for them. And then like they'll be passing some leave values and we have to subtract it and then display the total amount of leaves so let's go to our sample input and output so that we can clearly understand what you're going to do in this question so here is our input and output so initially they have given young, like they are going to pass five set of values. Each set will have the employee name, the employee department and their salary. And like that the same, we have, will be having five sets like that. And after that they'll be passing another number, which will contain the dictionary, like we may use it as a dictionary for leave type, like the first set of leave types and then the number of days allocated for the leave and then they'll be passing one thing, like they'll pass the leave type and the number of leaves and they'll pass increment or decrement. So based on this, we have to increment the number of days for the leave type or we may be decrementing it based on the leave type. And then after that, we they'll be passing an employee name and then they'll be passing the type of leave and which should be detected so usually they've mentioned it is going to be two sets so we better be prepared for two sets and like this is the first part like we'll they pass the leave type number of leaves and increment for which we'll be incrementing either decrementing or incrementing and then we'll print the updated value and after that here for the employee and the type of leave and the final number of leave for one set we have to check like whether he's eligible so if the leave is uh, more than the given number then the leave is eligible so you'll be printing that and you'll be also printing how many days he took leave and same repeats for the second set also so it's a pretty easy question to solve if you understand the concept so let's get into our uh, code. So the first part it to, is to get the inputs. So I've already written this input. So I'm going to just show you the in how to get the input for first this five parts. So we'll be getting n is equal to int of input. And then for this set of values. So for that I have a code over here. And yeah. So I'll just copy paste it over here in this place. Below this, we'll run a for loop and we'll get the name department and the salary. And then we'll be passing that to the object class. So in the object, make sure you write this little code so that the objects will be correctly formed. 
So here I'm making the changes like for name, department and salary and also inside it I'm writing this set of assignments. So by these names only we'll be accessing these data inside this class. Okay, so it is almost complete like I have passed the first initial set of values. I'm going to just pass this set of values like five and then this show and the data of them like this alone in the input part and let's see whether it runs properly like we can't see like whether it is we can't print and see it because it will be changed into object so i'm just going to say print if everything goes well then we are going to print success as from the last video now i'm going to run it yeah so this tells us there is no problem until now so for I'm going to pass the next set of data which is the lead type. So for the code for code to get the input for that is over here. So I'm, I'm declaring another number variable and then I'm running another for loop and then also I'm getting the lead type and then um, the value like the number of leaves and so here what we are going to do is instead of creating an object the data set for that I'm going to just create a dictionary for it because we are going to only store the leaf type and the number of leaves allocated for that. So here what I've done is I've just created one dictionary of name dict because dict can be can't be used because it's a keyword and I'm just declaring it here and then I'm again going to create another number variable and get the input for this thing and then just assign it in the place of a dictionary so that's what the code for this so i'm getting the key as input which is of type string and the value as end of input and then dict k of v so this is where how we assign the values for the dictionary so now if we check like print success and we'll check whether it is working fine okay so now also I'm going to pass the values for these below that from 3 till this one and let's run and see whether it works fine so I'm going to just going to run the code and yeah it printed success so as of now we don't have any problem now we have the object set with the data of the employee and also the dictionary for lead type so now what we are going to do is after like we have to get these inputs also like we are going to just get a lead type and a number of leaves whether it is increment or decrement which is in the name of string and then like employee name and then two set of lead type and lead numbers so I just quickly paste that code also so this will be easy for you there is nothing to mug up in this thing I've just named it as lead type number of lead and the type PL and again the name of the employee and lead type 1 yenl1 lead type 2 nl2 so that's it i'm going to just paste it over here and yeah so we have got our all the inputs in the place correctly so i'm just going to paste this over here in the input and check whether there is no problem over here okay so now Again, let's print success and see whether we have any problem in it. So let it be just yes. Okay, so now I'm going to run it. And it's yes. So now we have successfully got our input. So now the next step is to pass our final list into our main class. So as we already know, we'll be handling the two functions over here okay let's see like what we are going to do so the first thing we have to do is compare this lead type and like take these three values which is cl3 and increment and we have to check whether we have to which lead type we have to increment or decrement and like how many days we have to increment or how many days we have to decrement and whether it is increment or decrement so let's get into the code for that for that we have to first pass this object like these values are v list and the dict to the main class 
and I'll be calling the function 1 with the set of values as we already know about. Yeah, so I'm going to just pass the object these two list into the main list and also I'm going to call the function 1. So let's quickly do that. Control V. Yeah. So now we have given that CL3 and increment over here. So what we should do over in this place is we have to pass three parameters over here so that it can understand that function one will get three parameters and then we'll check on the code. So I'm now going to fun one and here I have these three parameters which we are going to like tell over here like we'll be passing three values over here and inside it what we are going to do is like we are going to iterate towards the dick and then compare the lead type and the number of leads available so let's quickly do that so i'm just going to copy a piece of code and i'll explain you over here so I just uh iterated through the self to d dick and k is the key right so key value has cl el and that so I've just compared k dot lower so it is always a better practice to compare it in lower case so some words may be in upper and some words may be in lower so to avoid mistakes you can just use dot lower and you, the comparison will be done with the lower cases itself so if el is equal to equal to el then I have to check like t of zero like why have given t of zero is nothing but it's just the type whether it is increment or decrement so instead of comparing the entire word what i've done is i've just compared the first letter so if i choose t of zero it will only take i so if it is a d then we have to decrement it so if it is i then we can increment it without considering any condition like we have if it is zero we have to add three we can directly add three but that's not the case for the decrement so I've just compared if it is I then directly increment the value self dot D deck of K plus equal to N which is the number of uh, three actually which I mean number of days and if else not if it is D then we have to check whether this value for CL is greater than the number which is given over here if it is not greater we have to just display a message called no sufficient balance so if it is greater than or equal to then we have to decrease it so that's what i've written over here and now it may be either increased or decreased so after doing that we have to print the updated list so the code for that is also given below over here so i'm just going to copy paste it over there in the right place be cautious with your indentation because python works on indentation so after doing all this this will be the only line which will be executed the organization lead database and that will be updated in the dtick so i'm just for k and self dot dtick print the key and the number of values like that i did and yeah so if you want the coding you can directly put it like this now i'm going to run it and let's see So yeah, what is the mistake we have made in here? We have just returned it as F list. So I didn't pass what is going to be here. So I'm just going to declare the self dot D deck is equal to D deck. And now it will work. So only like the past data is not taken in. So that word the error message displayed. Now I have corrected it. Now it should run properly. Fingers crossed and let's see. Yes. So we have got the exact value for this and the values are also same. So now let's skip to the second part where we'll be getting uh, employment, employer name and then the type and the number of leaves they want. So for that I've got it over here like name 2, L2 and NL1 like those things. Like you can name it whatever you want according to your wish. So here I'm again going to pass it to the function 2 as we already know. Like for one part we'll be using function 1 and for the other part we'll be using function 2. So here in the end I'm going to just pass, oops I passed it above, okay it should be down. I'm just going to paste it over here and again just copy paste it below it. 
so it's a good practice to have a good uh, like control of what you're writing and make your code look clean so that you can even understand and even people who look into your code can also understand it so now we have declared the function too in the this place we have also should mention like five parameters which will be passed into this function so here in function 2 I'm going to give the name type 1 type 2 like that like they didn't mention how many values will be passed over here but in the question it mentioned like two set of values will be passed so just considered as t1 n1 t2 and n2 like that so here you have only one job you have to just uh, compare this type check whether it is cl el or sl and then we have to decrement we have to check the balance also so if uh, the balance is greater than the given like one number of leaves then it should render employees eligible and it should print the number of leaves which have been given so yeah now i'm going to just pass this code like which i've already written for gain again we are going to iterate to the ddic only okay so i'm just going to pass the code and i'm going to check in the key value lower dot is equal to equal to t1 like you may also even put lower over here so that you can have like the comparison will be done on in lower and i'm checking self if the value in that key is greater than the value so if it is greater it should print the count of leave taken is equal to n1 plus n1 and then else it should print employees not eligible and i'm going to do the same for t2 also so which i've also written over here as they already said it's going to be like only two values so i've just re copy pasted the code replaced it with t1 and t2 that's it so here again i'm going to just paste this for wait a minute yeah now it is fine yeah, as I always say, be sure with your indentation. And again, I'm doing it for, as a year, I've done it for T1, and here I'm doing it for T2. And in the end, it should print, like, the count of both, 3 and 3. So here it should print both. So I have to go into give N1 plus N2. And if there is, after incrementing or like after decreasing three if there is no eligible balance and also it should print employees not eligible for leave so that's what the code is i hope like it's clear now i'm going to run the code yes so we got the exact output and you can try with different cases like you can decrease the numbers and like if i give 10 over here then it will not display like the employee will not be eligible like as i as you know like cl has only eight so if i in the first place if i give 10 then for that the first case itself it will not be eligible it will say the employee is not eligible and the employee is eligible like for next one it is three so that's only it have given it as three like it should print like we should have some tracker over here if not or uh, like we should have whether it is decreased or, or it's not changed so you can work on with this so you can get an idea on this thing so i'm leaving it to you guys you can try with this thing so always i'm not going to here after i'm not going to give the complete code so that you can learn learn from your own and you can explore a lot so i think this video is helpful and if you like the video please make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll be posting every alternate week and a very happy new year i'll see you in the next one until then keep exploring and have fun Bye-bye.